Okay, so in this video, we're going to go through clutch positives, converses, and inverses. Now, for me personally, when I was doing this course, I didn't really see any questions on my test with, with respect to these three things that I'm going to talk about, but I'm just going to go over it just, just in case. So, I'm going to start off with the definition, and pretty much for open statements, PX, QX, defined for a prescribed universe, and universally quantified statement, AX, PX implies QX, we define the conch positive of AX, PX implies QX to be AX, negate QX implies negated PX. Now, for the converse, we will define that to be AX, QX implies PX, and for the inverse, we define that to be AX negated PX implies negated QX. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's go through an example. So let's have PX be absolute value of X is greater than 3, and QX be X is greater than 3. And the universe consists of all real numbers like I have here. So if we look at the statement for all x, px implies qx. Now, that is a false statement. For example, if we let x be uh, negative 5, then p negative 5 is true. But q negative 5 is false. This is because the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. 5 is greater than 3, that's true. Negative 5 is not greater than 3, and that is false. So we have a 1 implies 0. And we have a 1 when we have a 1 implies 0, that implies 0. So that is false. And so the thing the result we end up with is that ax uh, ax px implies qx. This is a false statement. We just proved that there is one x in the in the universe that makes this statement for all x is false. Now, looking at uh, another example, we can express the converse of the given statement in part a as follows. Every real number greater than 3 has magnitude or absolute value greater than 3. So pretty much what this is, is uh, ax qx implies px. So pretty much what we do here is we take uh, this statement and we just flip qx and px and like the rule here that is the converse and this is what we have the inverse like the rule that we have here we ju we're just following that rule and we're just negating that so uh, what we're actually trying to find here is if the magnitude of a real number is less than or equal to 3, then the number itself is less than or equal to 3. And I have the definitions here, just for convenience. So that's the same for our contrapositives. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, taking that simple example that we have, um, that we have here, and we could use it to to grab the contrapositive, the converse and inverse, and we could manipulate it to make different statements. And uh, you could see that the truth values are the truth values are different for whether they are the inverse, contrapositive, or the converse. So now that we have that over with we're going to plug in an extra rx with x uh, is less than negative 3 and we're going to also use it for the defined universe of all real numbers and if you try to get the converse inverse and contrapositives then this is what you will get and these following four statements are true and when both statement and converse is true then this following statement here is also true. So that's all I wanted to really go through in this video. And like I said, uh, for contrapositive, converse, and inverse, I personally did not go through um, go through it as in depth as we should have. Or, well, for my professor, he didn't really test 
these subjects or yeah this this subject matter because I don't think he thinks that it was that important to learn um, I, the most important thing to like really learn about is the use of the quantifiers as I've been telling you because what we're really focusing on is the quantifiers and these are just additional things that you should know but I don't think that they are things that are that I don't think that they they are subject matters that uh, that are a must be tested kind of subject. So keep these in the back of your mind, but don't focus a hundred percent on it. Uh, I don't know how likely is it it is that you guys are getting tested on it, but other than that, uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.